Now, another story heavily discussed online today is the criticism of Facebook's privacy. It's used by millions of us across the country, but the social networking site has been coming under increasing pressure over the way it protects our data. After high-profile problems with security, U.S. senators have been calling for tighter controls over Facebook, and now EU politicians have joined the attacks. Well, tonight, Facebook staff are meeting in America to discuss this very issue. With me in the studio this evening is Wendy Grossman, who works for Privacy International. And from San Francisco on a webcam is Nick O'Neill from the allfacebook.com, the site that broke the story of tonight's meeting. So let's start with you, if we may, Nick. Uh, what do you think's happening there, and what would you like to hear to come out of this meeting? Well, they actually just said that the meeting is going to be uh, more of a Q&A session for employees and that they're actually not making any major changes out of the announcement. While we'd hope that they'd make a change, it sounds like they're really trying to downplay it right now. What changes would you have them do, Nick? I mean, the first would be to make their new instant personalization program that they just launched an opt-in program rather than opt-out. And uh, there's also a number of other things. Ultimately, Facebook's been kind of forcing users to be more public with their information. And instead, you know, the, it should be so that uh, users have the option to be more public rather than forced. Wendy, would you concur with that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think Facebook is is almost a classic bait and switch where, you know, they enticed users to, especially the earliest users, to sign up by saying, you know, we will keep you in this kind of walled garden where you're safe and you're protected from the net at large. And then all of a sudden, everything's searchable on Google and everything's open. I mean, you know, it, it's quite a change. And I think and I'm not surprised users are angry. Uh, they could opt out, though, couldn't they? They can opt out, but, you know, I've been using computers for 30 years, and I find privacy the privacy controls on Facebook really difficult. I can't imagine what it's like for somebody who's, you know, the archetypal my mother that geeks always talk about. I'm never yeah. really clear why geeks have such a low opinion of their mother's intelligence, but you know, yeah. this is what you hear all the time. Do you know why, Nick, they make it quite so difficult? Because it's really under the hood, isn't it, where you switch all this stuff off? Well, so there's two things. There is how complicated Facebook's privacy settings are and what their intention is. I think that privacy is a difficult thing to manage to begin with. So they, they've actually tried to empower users by providing granular privacy settings, but it's become increasingly clear that they're actually uh, trying to drive users in a more public direction. So there's kind of two uh, uh, sides of this and there, it's almost like there's a lot of internal conflict about uh, what's the right way to approach this. But Nick, don't you also think that it's a typical kind of geek interface problem that a lot of technology companies have gotten user interfaces wrong over the years and it's one of the things that happens in a very young company like this one? It's only six, six seven years old. Yeah, I mean, the, there's always an issue when you have a technology company where the developers are the ones that are driving the interface. Uh, I mean, there is a design team and a user interface team at Facebook, but but it's that's always definitely an issue. Okay, Nick. Well, we'll wait and see. I think the meeting's happening your time. You're on the West Coast roundabout now, and if it is just the uh, staff chat, maybe there won't be any dramatic announcements. We'll wait and see if anything happens out of there. Uh, Nick O'Neill and Wendy Grossman, thank you both very much.